Okay, hey guys, Grey Wolf back with another video, and today we're gonna be going over. This is the last time I'm gonna make this video, I promise. Um, I've made like four other videos. I'm getting a ton of comments asking on how to do this or how to do that. So uh, this is gonna be my last video, just explaining it in full. Okay, first things first. You're going to need Besiege on Steam. This has to be the paid version on Steam um, to be able to do what I'm about to do. I don't know how to do it on the cracked version or on the free version or whatever. If, I don't know, maybe some suggestions is if you can find a mod file, go into the files in your file folder and go to the Besiege uh, game and try and find maybe mo a mod folder or a game assets folder. Check in there. Um, I don't know how to do it on any other version. So, just clearing that up, you have to have the paid Steam edition to be able to do this. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, Let's get into the video on how to install mods on the Besiege, like planes, uh, as well as other vehicles, and how to add the skins to them. I've been I've been getting a lot of questions about skins. So first thing you're gonna do is in your in your Steam uh, app, you're gonna go to Besiege, and you're gonna go over here to Workshop. Now it might look a little bit different, but Workshop is gonna be over here somewhere. So you're gonna press on Workshop, and I'll bring you to this. Now you can choose what kind of vehicle you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and choose planes for the sake of this video and here we go okay so you're gonna see a ton of these kind of things it won't look exactly like this uh, it'll have different planes and different stuff but you can go ahead and choose when you want um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to this yeah I'm gonna go ahead and go to the B17 go ahead and just click on the picture and it will bring you to this now here's where skins come in play over here on the right, so you're in this menu here by clicking on it. In the right, you'll see required items right here, right there. Okay, I have a little check mark because I have that one installed. Now, what you need to do is click on each one of these and subscribe to each one of these. Now, it won't show it immediately that it's uh, on, but you need to go ahead and subscribe to all of these. Okay, then you subscribe to the plane. Continue, yes. Okay. Now, it will download. You'll have to wait for it to download. And, I mean, it downloads pretty quick. So, let's go back and see if it registered. Okay, so it did. So, see, now it says I have everything installed. Perfect. And required items. And I have this installed. Perfect. Now, we're going to go to library and start up a siege. Okay, go ahead and start it up. Alright, now I'm going to go to level editor, or free play, or I don't know, whatever you want to do, sandbox. You can do whatever, however you want. And, okay, once you're in this mode, let me get rid of that. Once you're in this mode, okay, you're going to go over, you're not going to find it in the menu. You can look as hard as you want. But you're not going to find it in the menu. It's not anywhere in the menu here. Okay, first off, you're going to go ahead and turn off free build. Or turn it on, I guess. And you're going to come up to this up here. See where my mouse is? You're going to come right to here. It's a little folder with the arrow. You're going to left click on that. And load machine. It's not going to be in here either. Alright. It's going to be in here. Steam Workshop. Again, this is for the Steam version only. No other version. This does not work for any other version. This only works for the paid Steam version. Now, thankfully, this is only $5. So, it's pretty it's pretty easy. You're going to go ahead and left-click on Steam Workshop. Now, I have a lot of them downloaded. You're only going to see however many you've downloaded. So, as you can see, I have an A380 or a 747 or... I've got all this stuff, right? All these downloaded. Now, you're going to see down here, oh, well, this is the one that we just downloaded. This is the B-17. Okay? You're going to double left click on it, one, two, and it will bring it up just like that. Now, it's kind of spawned it in a pretty terrible place. But anyway, there you go. That's literally how you do it. Um, you can, I, I would go back to the Steam page and look at controls. Because each plane has different controls, which is mildly confusing on how to get to cockpit cam or how to control the plane. But, uh, okay, I'm out of bounds. Well, this is really uh, 
inconvenient. But then if you want to do a different one, maybe, let's go 727. Alright, there we go. Now, I did not install all the textures for this. So this is one of those ones that I did not install the textures for. Now, to play it, obviously, you just go ahead and press space. And yes, it will be this laggy unless you have an insane system. Like, I have an i5-8400 um, and a GTX 1080. Uh... You know, pretty, I, I would say it's a high level system, but it's nothing to Besiege. Besiege, with this kind of mod, with these kind of mods, will absolutely destroy your computer. That guy that you see on a, on a, on YouTube with all these planes and stuff, he's got a $4,000 computer, so don't sweat it. Um, but yeah, that's how you do it. I don't know how to add multiple at a time. Um, I know he's using some insane mod i don't even i don't even know um but yeah there you go that's how you do it make sure to go install the textures before you install the plane or it will just look like wood but uh yeah there you go guys hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys next time